Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to wrap your kettle, cup handles, whatever handles in paracord. So stay tuned. So guys, we're going to paracord the kettle handle. Um, it was already done, but in one of the last videos, I did manage to burn it and melt it around here. So I thought I'd take it all off, do a fresh lot on there, and show you how I do it. So this is what it should look like. Obviously this is still all right. So let's get rid of that for a minute. So obviously you're gonna want your power cord. I've got uh, 100 meters of uh, free mil. I think it was Amazon, 12 quid possibly. Can't remember now, it's a long time ago. A pair of scissors and a lighter. So, I'm just gonna take a load off here. I'm not too bothered about it, sort of, um, how much I use. Right, once you've done that, just seal the end off a little bit, stops it from unthreading. There we go. So I've got quite a bit here, probably too much, but I'm not too worried about that. So obviously I've got both sealed ends. Then you're gonna fold it all in half. Right, so to measure the power cord out before you cut it really, I mean, I've already cut it, but you're gonna to wanna to place it where you want it roughly, keep it doubled. Then you're just gonna wrap it all the way around as tightly as you can. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect or precise. It's just to give you a rough measurement, obviously of how much you need. But by doubling it over, that is obviously, well, when we do this, it's gonna be doubled over. There we go. That's roughly where I want it to stop. And I've still got all this spare. So let's um, start. So put one end on the other side, pull it all the way up. So you've got, again, we've got 50 50. I'm going to start just on the top here just to show you so it's a lot easier. You can see better. So you're gonna put, I'm gonna got to twist that. So you're gonna pop this right hand one across. So it looks like that. This one over the string or the power cord even, and then under the handle. Then you're gonna pop it up Gonna loosen this off slightly, pop it up through. Pull as tight as you can. Like I said, I'm gonna do a couple here and then move it down. So we do it the opposite way. So the left hand comes over the top. right hand goes over the top of the power cord and under and then up through the gap then we're gonna pull tight then we do it all over again so right hand over the top of the handle left bit goes over the top of the power cord and under the handle then it's gonna go up and through. And then we're gonna pull tight again. And that's just the method we're gonna use. So now that I've got a couple of bits here, I'm just gonna loosen it ever so slightly. 
just so I can slide it down where I want it. Which I want it roughly at the bottom of the green silicon. So we're gonna tighten it all up now. We've moved it down and we just carry on. Hopefully you can see all this right. I'm trying to do it from behind the camera, which obviously make it a little bit more difficult for myself. Follow it tight. All right. So if you had to stop for any reason, you go, oh gosh, which side was I doing next? Where well, we've just made the hump. That is the next bit to go across the top. This one then goes over the power cord and under the handle. And then up through the gap. And you're back on track. I mean, once you've got your head around how to do it, will be a lot easier. Then you should have this done in sort of 10 minutes. So like I said, I'm just finding it a bit difficult at the moment because obviously I've got the camera in my way and try not to knock the camera like that. Just remember to pull tight every time you've done it. I have to do it this way. I couldn't swap it around and do it for you because I think that would <laughs> confuse me too much. Again, over the top. This one goes over the top of the power cord, under the handle and up through the gap. I'll pull tight again over the top, over the power cord, and under the handle, up through the gap. Right, I'll just crack on with this bit now. I won't bother talking and I'll just uh, Get it done and we'll show you the end result in just a second. that it that's where we started there we go right make sure it's tight and what we're going to do now is start with this one it's a little bit easier to see cut it off Dab it off. Last one. There 
There we go, guys. Like I say, it works the same for cups, any sort of handles, really. So, there we go. Just makes it look that little bit more carpy. There we go. Then it still allows it to fold down quite nicely. So there we go, guys. That is how you power cord wrap your kettle handle. Um, you can do your obviously your cup handles as well. So I hope you like this little short video of how to do it. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.